Hello everyone. This experiment is to see whether different substances melt all at the same temperature. I have four bowls of water. Iced water, tap water, warm water and hot water. The iced water temperature at the moment is 4 degrees. The tap water is at 11 degrees. The warm water is at 30 degrees and the hot water is at 60 degrees. I'm going to start with the wax and I'm going to put it in for 10 seconds into each one and stir and see whether it melts. As you can see, that hasn't melted. Now for the tap water. Again, the wax has not yet melted. Warm water. Again, the wax has not melted. And now for the hot water. And again, the wax has not melted. So the wax needs a temperature higher than 60 degrees to start melting. Now I'm going to do the chocolate. Same process. still hasn't melted, so now for the warm water. Still not melted, so now we put it into the hot water. And what you can, I can start feeling from here is that it is, the edges are starting to get soft. And if I left it in a little bit longer, we can start seeing some of the chocolate coming away onto the dish. So we can record the chocolate as melting as a temperature. The current temperature of the hot water is 51 degrees. So please put that in your table. I'm now going to do butter, starting off with the ice water. As you can see, it's not melted. Now the tap water. Again, still fairly solid. Now the warm water. And at this point, the butter is really softening because it has started to melt. And you can start seeing the smears again on the bottom of the dish. So you need to record the temperature of the butter melting. The current temperature is 26 degrees Celsius. And lastly, we're going to look at ice. So we've got an ice cube and in a dish and let's see when it starts melting. So I'm going to put it in the ice water. you can see there is some water in the dish okay so that shows that the ice is melting and the current temperature of the iced water is four degrees Celsius so please write that down on your recording table so what did we find out can you answer the key question the key question was do all substances melt at the same temperature? Please now write your conclusion.